In this video, we're going to show you how to install, paint, and get a finished product of our new barrel stencils. Uh, it has the font, 5 inches tall, 24 inches in diameter. You can place it anywhere on your barrel, metal, 55 gallon drums, plastic rain barrels. It will work on anything. Super easy to put on, gives you a nice detail. We got a few different styles available. So let's jump into it and get this put on. All right, before we begin, we're gonna to wanna to make sure we have everything ready to go. Grab your stencil, grab some masking tape, uh, some type of ruler or tape measure just to measure it out because you wanna get it nice and straight, level. Uh, some spray paint, we're just using 99 cent hardware store brand spray paint. Um, some type of squeegee. We got this nice belt tip one that we use there. Um, credit cards, driver's license, any type of ID will work. And I'm just gonna use a heat gun just to speed up the process for the video. Um, so what you wanna do first, grab your tape, rip off two pieces. We're gonna use this as a hinge so we get it level. So take your stencil, Put it ideally where in the general area you want it and tape off two sides. So that's going to be used as a hinge when you lay the vinyl on to the drum. So we're going to measure from the bottom each side to about this middle line. We'll use this as a reference point. So right now We're about eight and a quarter. So from this point, we're gonna go to the other side end here, and we're gonna make sure that it's about eight and a quarter. So it's a little off. I'm just gonna undo one. Raise it up just a tad. And that was too much, so we're gonna go back down. This is gonna be a trial and error process. So we're roughly at the eight and a quarter mark, we're gonna take another piece. And we'll create a nice hinge along the side. And the vinyl decal is a two part. There's a masking tape film over it which is gonna be stuck onto your vinyl, and there's the baby blue part, which gets released. Now when you release it, this is not sticky, this is sticky. The white is the vinyl, which is gonna be applied, and you're gonna spray paint around inside of there, and that's gonna leave your mark, so. When you apply it, air bubbles is gonna be the hardest part to not get, so we'll go over on how to do that. So we got that hinged, when we lay this back over, it's automatically going to be um, level horizontally. So we're going to let this go all the way down. So we're going to grab our squeegee. We're going to start by Letting it flow, do not force it. Work from one way to the other. We got a little air bubble there, but that'll be fine. And you just go nice, slow, and steady. And you want to work from one way to the other, because what you want to do is push the air out. You can see we got a little air bubble here. 
which isn't bad because we're, we're it's more or less going to be masking it off. As long as it's inside of here, it's good. All this stuff's good. You're spot on. You're just going to keep working yourself over, all the way to the end. Just give it up and down motion. So once you've got that, the film has that masking tape, you're gonna peel off, leaving the white vinyl only on the drum. You wanna peel this off nice and slow too, make sure you're not worth anything. Especially around the eyes, teeth, that can easily get stuck onto the masking film. So now you have successfully applied your vinyl decal to the drum. Your masking tape is going to be garbage. I'm going to see if we can reuse this. We're just going to take this and try to see if we can still mask this off here. The reason I'm doing this is because overspray, if you spray too close down here, you're going to get a black mark. So this is going to be all red and then you're going to get a mist of black here if you go too far down. So I'll take the other piece and just do it along the bottom here. Paper, newspaper will work too, whatever, just to, to cover this up so the overspray doesn't get all over the side. You can build it up with more tape. As long as you're just blocking the outside part, that's what you want to get covered up. So we've got this all applied, everything looks good. Um, take your spray paint, give it a good shade. Now we're just using regular black paint. You could use any type of color. Um, you could do some different type of paint effects, whatnot. After you get done painting it, you're gonna, we're gonna peel this off and you can put a little more paint there and give it a drip. Um, a little distressed look, so we're gonna shake this out. And we're just gonna spray paint that up. Take our heat gun real quick and just give it a nice little dry. Now we know the 
the cheap spray paint happens to dry a fast dry super quick if you use um, Rust-Oleum or any other brands generally it gets a lot stickier it's, it's a more durable paint it's gonna take more time to dry but we're using this just to get that speed up and it, it'll work so then now we're gonna go ahead and take off our mask If you can see that there's a little overspray mark here for me not masking it off, so that's why you want to get it all covered. So now is where you're going to reveal the finished product. You're going to peel your vinyl all the way off. So you, this is going to be a, another slow process. You're going to take it and peel it slow and carefully. And you want to pull at about a 90 degree area, give it a little tug. So we got the, the big part off. There's gonna be some other parts stuck on here. Use your nail. If you had a razor blade X-Acto knife, that would take it off super, super easy. You got your full stencil painted on, super easy to apply, did not take long at all. Um, you can do different types of paint effects, any, any colors. Um, we do have a few different styles. This is our caution with our crossbones. We got some biohazard ones, some hazardous waste, some nuclear waste, uh, some different styles available. You can get those on our website, hallucinationscreations.com. And if you guys got any questions, shoot us a message, give us a call, send us an email. Find us on Facebook, Instagram, any social media market out there, and we'll get you guys taken care of.